Good morning, Legit Nation. Today is an amazing Thursday, and today we're gonna take a little road trip because I wanna shoot a very special, longly anticipated video that I've been wanting to shoot for you guys for a while. So without further ado, let's get on the road. We're about to head to San Marcos, Texas. So let's have an amazing day, and let's make today a very legit one. Let's get on the road. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We came to Target and we see this guy, right? And um, it turns out that this guy's a YouTuber too, man. Oh, really? And he what has are you a talking about me? Yeah, and he has a fresh oh, cut too. You got a fresh cut Thank too, you. bro. Um, nah, but anyways, guys, they're gonna join us for our trip today. So um, we're going to San Marcos first, and I think then we're gonna head to Austin. So it should be a really good day today. And um, I honestly, I think it would be cool to shoot a video inside Target. So let me know what you guys think we should do inside Target. Should we do some trick shots? I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think we should do? Trick shots inside Target. Might be dope. We'll see. Let's play football right now. Nah, like just get a ball and like try to make it into one of those bowls. You know what I'm saying? Like a kapunk. Those bowls? Yeah. You're gonna break them? No, like a little ping pong ball. Alright, I'm down. Let's like a kapunk thing. But then again, we can't waste our time because we gotta go to we gotta go to San Marcos. So maybe next time. Alright guys, so we just arrived at the Nike outlet. If you guys could not tell by the title, today the reason we're coming to the Nike outlet is because I'm going to do the $500 Nike outlet challenge. Now, I don't think this has been done before on YouTube, so I wanted to be the first person to do it. I know it's been a while since we've been at the Nike outlet, but let's get inside and let's see what we can buy for $500. Let's go, get some steals and deals. It is super packed today at the Nike outlet, guys. Super, super packed. There's a lot of people here. So where to start? Where do I start with this challenge? Should I get some shirts? Should I get some shorts? You know, let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and hop over to the shoes real quick to see what they have in here. So they got some Kyries over here, some Kyrie threes. Okay, okay. The N sevens. I've never seen these. I've never seen the N sevens. Let's see what else they have. The KDs. One hundred dollars. Some more KDs. Let's see. Let's see. They got some Lebrons going on over here. They got some Kobe's. ADs Not really a huge fan of those, but let's go ahead and see what they have in the Jordan section So they got a little bit of variety. They got a little bit of Roshi runs. They got a little bit of Air Force Ones uh, So this purple Air Force One. This is this is loud, but it's, I like it though. I like it. $120. I like it. I've never I've never owned a pair of Air Force Ones before. You should, this, you should get these. I should get those? Yeah. I want to see what else they have here though. Some Westbrooks. These are, nice. these are more like fashionable the Jordan Westbrook I'd rock point these. two. You would rock those? Hell yeah, bro. I don't know if I would rock those. Some Air Jordan ones. A couple of just regular Air Jordan ones in here. Oh man, these are actually pretty cheap. Sixty-five dollars. I might have to get a pair of these because they actually really brought the price down a lot. Retails one sixty, and for these for to be sixty-five dollars, that's a steal right there. Um, we also got the uh, Air Jordan six. The Air Jordan six, one forty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still got a lot left. These are sitting so bad. So I might have to pick up those Air Jordan 1s a part of the challenge, but let's see what they have on the wall because of course you guys know that these are gonna be cheaper than the ones that are like on the shelves in the boxes. Some KD 9s in here, $100. $150 regular price, got a $50 price point off on that. We got these, which $150. I know collectors would like these, but I couldn't see myself wearing these on a regular basis. You know, after Damn Daniel came out, Stefan Janowski had to release some. You know what I mean? He's like, damn, that's popping. I gotta release some damn Daniels. What the heck are these? I thought these were foams by that little piece right there. They actually have some of the 31s sitting in here, guys. A couple of Air Jordan 31s in here. These are actually pretty nice. Honestly, one of the most comfortable Jordans. I'm not really sure what the colorway on this one is. I know it's not the band colorway. I haven't seen this colorway though, honestly. If they do have my size, I might pick up a pair as well today. They got some good shoes in here. $60 for these, not bad. Some Mamba Instincts right here for $80. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Some sock darts in here. You guys are into running and stuff. So I came back to the Jordan 1 just because, guys, this is a steal and deal, man. Like, $65 is crazy. They have my size right here, size 10 and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pair of these. And so with tax, it'll probably be about, like, a little bit over $70, but we still have $500. We have $500 to spend, guys, so I'm gonna have to get some kicks today. I didn't even see the Prestos. I don't have a pair of Prestos yet, though, but I know they're super comfortable. $80, yeah, those are super comfortable. Okay. Kind of like runners. I know my boy True just got some of those. They actually have the 13 lows in here, which is one of my favorite LeBrons ever. 
super comfortable sneaker guys extremely comfortable but they are size 12 they're not in my size I need like a 10 and a half for those but they don't have a 10 and a half new bag pretty clean bro it's pretty clean. new bag I, I might need to get a new bag I don't know I have too many and I don't have any fly knit free runs yet so maybe like if I were to pick up a good running shoe you know maybe a fly knit shoe that would be really dope as well what they have the be true free run fly knits or no not the free runs but the fly knit racers uh, man Honestly, these are super clean, but it only says available for Nike.com, so I don't think they have them here. I would get this pair if they had them here. Guys, they have this really clean free run fly knit right here. I don't know what it is, but I really like the colors. It's kind of like a little bit of that Yeezy green almost with the red and a little bit of purple. I'm really feeling these and they're only $100, so I might have to pick up a pair of these if they do have my size. Um, I think in these, I'll either be a 10 or a 10 and a half. I see some 10 and a halfs right here. I don't know if it's the same shoe. It is the same shoe, so we did get a 10 and a half in these. I'm gonna try these on and see if they fit, and if they do fit, I'm gonna add these to the cops of the day. All right, guys, here we go. We're going from the Ultra Boost to some new Flyknit racers, or some new uh, Nike Free Run Flyknits. Let's see if they fit. These are 10 and a half. Yeah, they fit perfect. They pretty much fit perfect. And they're actually super light. They're actually more light than the Ultra Boost. Yeah, guys, so I'm really feeling these on my feet right now. They're super lightweight. They're super comfortable, of course. You can't compare it to the Boost, but in terms of like lightweight, like this shoe is definitely gonna be a good runner and just an overall like everyday, you know, lifestyle type of sneaker. All right, guys, so they have these in a size 10 and a half. And so I'm really liking these. It also comes with an extra pair of white laces. And so these are really clean and these are actually in my size. These are 130, so if I add these to there, I'll get three shoes for $100 even, so I'm gonna go ahead and add these. Do you like those? No, they're Jordan, so I know you would like them. I don't know, I don't, I don't really like the color though, but I mean, they look like they would be comfortable, but I don't like the colors on these. How much are they anyways? Like $29. $29? Mm. With a 20% off. Oh yeah, true, steals and deals. Guys, I don't know why, but I keep eyeballing these purple Air Force Ones. Like, they're super clean and, like, they're super loud. Like, people will definitely notice me if I get these purple Air Force Ones. Now, if they do have my size, I'm definitely going to have to get them. But if I do get them, that means I'm going to need a sneaker that costs less than $80 because you got to worry about tax as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and take these. They actually do have my size right here in a size 10 and a half. So, we're going to get these Air Force Ones as well. So, now in the challenge, I only have, like, $50 left. So, that means I'm going to have to find a sneaker that maybe costs somewhere around, like, $50 to $60 because we got to worry about tax as well and we want to stay underneath that $500 mark because this is a $500 challenge so let's see what else we can find in here so these type of Air Maxes are 60 right here guys I honestly think this is super clean and all black sneaker you can pretty much wear with anything if I can't find this in my size it will be a steal because these are only $60 these are a 10 I'm not sure if they're gonna fit me but we can try them on I might need a 10 and a half so let's try them on all right guys so if these do fit then they are gonna complete the $500 challenge Hopefully I'll stay underneath the price limit, but let's try these on because they feel super comfortable and they do fit guys. So they do fit on my feet. They are pretty comfortable. The actual proper name for these kicks is the Nike Air Max Modern Essential. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this shoe just because it's a modern Air Max. It's an all black sneaker. Of course, you're gonna need some all black sneakers for any occasion. So we're gonna go ahead and pick these up as our fifth sneaker. So we got five sneakers today for under $500. I hope we're gonna go check out and see if we can make this $500 challenge happen. Oh, you know what? Guys, I didn't see these. These are the Air Max Essential Zeros. These are super clean. Now they're $64, the other sneaker is $60, so it might be pushing my challenge a little bit, but honestly, if they have my size, which I'm pretty sure they do, I'm gonna go ahead and take these instead of the, the modern essentials. So I really like these Zero Essentials. I need a size 10, 10 and a half. Let's see, let's see. They do have a 10 up there. It's kind of high and I'm kind of short, so I'm gonna have to jump for this. So since the size 10 fit me so well in the other sneaker, I'm gonna go ahead and get a size 10 in these. The Air Max Zero Modern Essentials. We're gonna go ahead and take these for our fifth shoe instead of the other all black sneaker. I do YouTube, man. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. All right, what's your name? Uh, my name under YouTube is Legit Looks for Life. So, um, you just type up Legit Bro and I'll pop up. 
Like my biggest video actually was filmed here too. It was like a, it was like just sneaker shopping and it got like two million views. Here. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today we're doing a $500 Nike outlet challenge, so we're gonna see if we can get below the five. Below five? Yeah. <laughs> 519. 519. 519. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you're close, though, man. Alright, let's just do it. You wanna do it? Let's just do it. Okay. I mean, I don't know, should we go back for another sneaker? Or? So, right now, you're. Your Air Force 79. But okay. The tax is 30. Right? The tax so is 30? You're literally under 500. Alright, you know what? We were under 500. The tax was like. The tax was like 40? For it. $40, yeah. The tax is $40, so I mean, we spent under $500, so let's just do it. I got you. <laughs> Looking at $519, for right, two. There you go. Here you have it, guys, the $500 Nike outlet challenge completed. $500 Nike challenge completed. It was completely awesome, guys. We got to spend $500 at the Nike store, guys. So I will review all of the sneakers that we picked up once we get home, but right now we're going to Austin. We're gonna do a little bit more sneaker shopping and we're gonna see what's good in Austin. So stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. Let's head over there right now. All right, guys, so now we're in Austin, but we actually came to like this private river almost, is, I think it's private, yeah, but it's pretty beautiful out here. I mean, the great outdoors, you know, and so it's pretty cool. We're gonna get some pretty cool cinematics and time lapses here and um, definitely go for a quick swim and uh, become one with nature. You know how it all works, man. Austin, Texas, we're out here. Guys, the water feels amazing, guys. Like, it's really, really cool out here. I wish I could show you guys us in the water, but I don't have my GoPro anymore. But if you guys do want to see the GoPro footage, you guys can check out Albert's channel for that. It's uh, Albert Casares. But yeah, guys, it's freaking beautiful out here. It's like I'm pumping in my workout and I'm chilling at the same time. It's awesome out here, man. Austin, beautiful. Yo guys, so now we're in Walmart back in San Antonio, Texas, and my boys actually joined us here today. And so basically, guys, we're gonna go pull this prank on Thermal TV. Tell them what happened recently. So he ate all of my donuts. Okay. And I was really mad. Okay. And now I'm gonna get him back by putting worms in some donuts Damn. in a box and giving them to him. Yeah, so anyways, she had a dozen donuts. This guy ate like 11 of her donuts and she just bought the donuts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy some fresh donuts, we're gonna stuff worms inside the donuts and we're gonna be like, hey bro, you want some donuts? And he went, we're gonna see what his reaction is when he bites into them. This was her idea, so thermals. I love you, bro, but we gotta do this. You bought underwear from where? Bro, I bought underwear from Amazon, Okay, right? uh-huh. And then I get them. Okay, oh, fresh shower, Calvin Klein's? Out, and they're kid size. What, they're size, kid size? Bro, <laughs> I was like trying to fit them on, bro. They did not fit. Kid size kid Calvin size, Klein's, bro. bro, damn. Right here, here we go. We got the worms, pick them out. Oh, God. Big red worms, worms, night crawlers, earthworms. Night crawlers. American <laughs> earth baby <laughs> crawlers. Open it. I feel like the baby one's a pig. Yeah, open it. Yeah. Show us what's in there. All right, let's do this. Yeah. I'm super out. scared of bugs. <laughs> Go. Any bugs. Oh, yep, they're in there. Oh. They are in there. Let's see, there. how big are they? He touches them. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, all right. That's good. You think they'll fit? Yeah, I think they'll they fit. Should. They should. All right, we got our worms now. Let's get it. What do you think, oh, bro? Oh, this is like, uh, like freshwater bait. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Dang. That's crazy. All fidget spinners at the same time in Walmart, baby. Look, I got it all over here. Dog, get that. Get that, dog. Oh, 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 oh. Who are you? Oh, who are you, though? Who am I? Aldrich? Hell no. Purge forever. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You'll really get on there. I'll get up there and start running out. No, you won't. We still say B-O-Y-Z, I didn't know they still say that. Yo! Get up, bro. Get up, bro. Get up, bro. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? Bro, I wanted to get that workout in the Yo, get that. Yo! My boy's getting it! <laughs> my boy! My boy's getting that in, man! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What if I, what if I just... What if I just... I already know, dog. Can we get in that workout? Super. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what happened? I don't know that dude was just staring at me. Bro, we better get the worms before we, you know. We better get the worms before we get kicked out, you know what I'm saying? Beth, get off that thing now. Hey, what are y'all doing with the bikes? <laughs> Something loud. What are y'all doing with the bikes? We ran the bikes. Bro, honestly, how long until we get kicked out? About five minutes. Five minutes? Alright, five minutes right stops. Let's go starting now. Alright, so we're having fun in Walmart, but we actually really need to get the donuts before they kick us out of this store. Because, you know, people are looking at us everywhere, and like, there's workers just like, staring at us and stuff. We really gotta get the donuts, and we really gotta go now. Alright, I say we get one of these boxes, but I don't know which one. Like, this one right here? There's only like six in here. The chocolate ones are the... Like... No, the glazed ones I feel like the earth thin. ones were like chocolate better, honestly, though. They're too thin, though. <laughs> Yeah, I like that one. Bro, what if he takes it and he likes it? Like he's all <laughs> eating it. Like, like when you like the mint Oreos. Bro, those were Dude, good I, though. I put toothpaste in Oreos and he ate it actually. Yo, so we got the donuts. We're about to head out right now and go pranking, but we're gonna do something really cool right before we leave. So uh, let's do this. Here you go. You got them? Show us what you got. Show us what you got. This is what I got right here. Watch He was like backing up his basket. He kept them. He kept them. <laughs> bro, what happened? He was just looking at me. He was all like, he was like, bro, you're putting it in the wrong basket. Oh, look, he's like. <laughs> bro, he was just like, he was like, bro, that's the wrong basket. And I was like, I just looked at him. And he was like, what are you doing? And I just put it back. No, and then he took it. He was like, that's the wrong basket. And then I took it out and then I put it back in there. And then he just looked at me like all mad. And I was like, <laughs> Yo, good job. But I, I look back at her and she freaking she was, yeah, she was laughing. Like, Here, <laughs> yeah, she was laughing. <laughs> she was laughing though. Know, she just walked off with it. People on this side of town is nice, but let's go to the Walmart in the hood next time and let's try to put this stuff oh, in their baskets. She got pissed. Yeah, she was all chasing me, sir. This is not mine. Yeah, my first vlog ever. We try to do it in the hood and like they were like getting really, really mad. He what? Pissed. He's all what the hell? <laughs> Wait, I think that was over. Are you checking out? If you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got him. Got him. <laughs> He's crawling in there. He's like dead literally. Yeah. Yes. He's crawling. Yeah, he's crawling in there. We're dead. We're throwing up. Throw up, dude. It's gross. <laughs> we'll sprinkle it. That way we can be like, yo, it's cookies and cream or something. I don't think he's gonna believe that. Um, it kind of looks like chocolate chips. It kind of does, honestly. It looks like. All right, there's two worms in there. Try another one. No, no, that's it. No? All right. That's good. Here. You should give them up. Let me wash my hands. The, the worm is coming out. You should cover the hole. <laughs> can you, you see the there? hole? Oh. Yeah. You can see the worm coming out. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, go get him. Wait, all of us need to get one though. Yeah, everybody get one and start eating. Yeah, here, you, I don't want to. Yeah, but that one has dirt on it. What do I have to do with Where's, where's Christian? I'm trying to take it down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Here. Where's Christian? I don't know, but that door can open. Alright. You're gonna walk in on him? <laughs> Go. Thermals. What? We brought you something. What? We brought you a donut. I want Why not? Yes. We yes. brought you one. Where's the lights? Bro, go turn it off. Go turn it off. Bro, we bought you a donut. We actually thought of you this time. Here. Know. For real, hurry up, bro. Here, here's your donut. We're not going to eat it. I'm not. Christian, here. Oh, Christian. Dude. All right. Why do we eat all my donuts then? No. All right, the well, never mind. We're trying to do something nice, but 
All right, whatever. Eat it. I'm not eating no donuts. Bro, we brought one for you because you freaking ate hard donuts. I don't care. Eat it. No. Thermals. <laughs> Why? You're gonna make me really upset if you don't eat it because you ate all my donuts and okay, I brought you another one. I don't care one. about your donuts. I don't care about your stupid donuts. So <laughs> take your freaking donuts. Oh, oh Yo. You're gonna have to clean that up off your wall. <laughs> Bro. It's not my wall. I cannot believe this is happening again. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Thermos, we brought a donut for you and you're being ungrateful. Is he pissed? Pissed. Oh yeah, he ate, like half he drank half of my pre workout. Let me show you. Oh. All got donuts and you don't want to eat your donut. Yeah. We're never gonna bring you stuff anymore. I don't want a donut. Bro, I felt look, I felt bad because we didn't bring you out to eat with us. Alright. I don't want donuts. I have food here. Thank you though. Okay, but you ate her donuts. That's why we were like, okay, he likes donuts. Oh. At least take one bite for us. Alright, but can you at least take one bite just because no. we bought it? Why? No. Why? Because all this is going to be a prank or something, so chill. What do you mean it's going to be a prank? What prank is it? There's a freaking donut. What are we going to do to a donut? You saw the donut. We didn't do anything to it. I'm not eating the donut, so good Bro, try. Well, at least freaking take one bite out of it, please. Thank you. Thermos, trust me. Just take one bite. No. For the vlog. No. Thermos. Why is this so gross? Just bite it! I see there's a worm in there! <laughs> you almost bit it though, right? No, because I already knew that there was a worm. It's like, why is that- No, you saw the worm as soon as you picked it up. <laughs> Bro. I'm not eating that crap. Alright, Furrow, you can have another donut if you want. We got more donuts. Thermals, Where what? Are Thermals, listen to me. What lesson did you learn today from the prank? I didn't learn anything. You just so messed around. So you're still gonna continue eating other people's food and pre-workout? Drama alert nation. P Rorka, what are you talking about? Hey! Oh. Huh? I mean, it's halfway. What are you talking about? I haven't even touched it. I saw that on the table and I didn't even touch it. Yo, really, bro? Some, that's some. <laughs> You'll see. Thermos, do you want me to put something in the vlog? Let me see it. Thermos, do you want me to put this in the vlog? I just want to see what's inside the container. Open it for him. What are you, you going to do, Thermos? Huh? Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna throw him? I was gonna hit him. <laughs> he's gonna do it on me. No, you throw it outside. It's fine, right? Oh! Yo. You good, bro? He ain't mad, because you've been in that room by now. Yo, no hard feelings? Sure. Wow. Hard feelings or not? What do you mean? Like, it was just a prank, right? You're yeah, not sad? It's just a prank. Yeah. It's it was, just a prank. It was just a prank. All right, Legit Nation, and we are now back at home, guys. I know today has been a lot of events going on, guys, but no hard feelings against Thermos, man. He is always super cool about the pranks that we put on him, and honestly, it's like a whole YouTube house. Everybody does YouTube. Everybody knows the prank things. I know, like, we've been trying to get all the roommates, but next time, maybe we'll get Albert, but I definitely owe you guys a haul, so now we're back at the crib. I'm sure you guys want to see what kind of kicks I picked up today. So in total, I picked up five pairs of sneakers for under $500, not counting tax, which kind of, you know, we kind of slither our way through that. But let's see what I picked up today. So first of all, guys, as you guys knew, I had to get the classic Air Jordan 1. These things were on sale for super duper cheap in this clean white and black Colorway, I think I've heard people call these the yin yangs. It has a little um, red Nike Air on the top. And so these were only $65, which is an incredible steal, especially for the original price being $160. These things, you can pretty much rock them with whatever. So these are super clean Air Jordan 1s. You can never go wrong with some classic Air Jordan 1s. Let's move on to the next pair of kicks. Next up, guys, we picked up the Air Jordan 31, man. This is a very comfortable shoe. Now, the cool thing about the 31s is it kind of resembles the 1s, and you see the Nike Air on the back of the top of the box, kind of like how the top of the box on the ones has the Nike Air. And so these honestly are super comfortable. I like that leather, you know, on the back. It kind of goes from like a mesh to a leather. And these things are super comfortable whether you're playing ball or whether you're just walking around. So much air bubble technology in them. And honestly, all this ankle support is super duper comfortable. These also come with an extra pair of white laces. So whether I want to switch the laces up to white or black. And then on the bottom, you got the little city skyline. I believe that's what it is. If I'm wrong, correct me, guys. But some sweet shoes, guys. 
These were also on sale at the Nike outlet as well. We got three more pairs of kicks, so let's check them out. Next up, guys, I had to get myself a pair of free run flyness, guys. I've been wanting some flyness for a while now, and this is honestly a super sick color. You got red in there, you got purple, you got that Yeezy green in there, and you got that free run technology. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run in these yet. Maybe, I currently like running in my Ultra Boost, but let me know, guys, down below, is the, are these more comfortable to run in, or all the Ultra Boost? Let me know down below, maybe I'll make the switch over. I do know that these are lighter, but the Ultra Boost sole is more, much, is better in my opinion so these are honestly pretty sick and I've been wanting some flying technology for a while I finally got myself a pair of flying the Air Max Zero Essential guys now as you guys know I was gonna get a different Air Max and I probably should have so that way with tax it could have been under the 500 but the Zero Essentials guys these things are so sick and sexy guys like you can literally rock these whenever wherever just a standard classic shoe that you can just put on rock and this is my second pair of Air Maxes. I currently only have one pair of Air Maxes, which is the Stingray ones. But these are a sick blue colorway. So I'm really glad I added these to the collection as well. Now let's move on to our last pair of shoes. Now this one was kind of negotiable just because I've never had a Air Force One before. My first pair of Air Force Ones, I know it's pretty surprising just because the Air Force One is a really classic shoe. But you know if we're gonna go, we gotta go loud. So we got this clean purple colorway. Now this was a big step for me just because I have no purple shoes in my collection other than my Concords. But even at that, the Concords has just a little hint of purple at the bottom. It says Nike Air on the back, so that purple and white is just beautiful. Kind of almost reminds me of like that old school Bieber vibe to it. I don't know if you guys were believers or maybe you weren't. I don't know, guys. But yo, sick purple shoe all around, guys. The Air Force One. Ooh, this thing is so clean. Smells so fresh, guys. I can't wait to rock out my first pair of Air Force Ones. Let me know where I should rock them out to down below. Alright guys, so here we go, the $500 Nike Outlet Challenge, guys. We spent $500 and we saw what we could get as far as kicks goes. If you guys thought I should have done clothes, let me know down below if you guys think I should stick to shoes. Let me know as well, guys. And also, let me know where you guys think I should go next to do the $500 challenge. Maybe we'll do Ross, maybe we'll do Play-Dohs, maybe we'll do Thrift, maybe we'll do Best Buy. I mean, whatever you guys can think of, let me know down below. Yo guys, and so the word of the day, guys, if you guys don't know, I do a word of the day every single night to keep my word up. From Psalms 121, 5 through 6, it says, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night, guys. I know living on earth, man, it's it's complicated. It's, it's confusing. Sometimes we go through storms. Sometimes we go through trials. Sometimes we go through tribulations. Sometimes we can be scared. But we got to remember, guys, the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand, man. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night, guys. Nothing under the sun nothing under the moon can hurt you because the Lord is your keeper guys Just keep in mind whenever you're going through high school you're scared that those guys are gonna hurt you you're scared that you know something you know is gonna hurt you guys remember the Lord is your keeper the Lord's gonna keep you safe guys he's your shade of your right hand guys he is you know everything to us guys he's he's our protector he's our healer he's our provider as long as we have him guys we're covered and we got everything. We got the best, the best protector that is out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not a part of the Legit Nation already, hit that subscribe button to become a part of the Legit Nation. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for more $500 challenges and more dope Legit vlogs. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another sick Legit vlog. And until tomorrow, guys, I'll see y'all each and every one of you guys in the next vlog. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here. See you tomorrow.